baby born from the uterus of a dead donor. Yeah, now there's hope for women who want to carry their own baby but couldn't. News 5's Tracy Carlos in the newsroom with the story from Cleveland Clinic that is now making headlines, Tracy, around the world. Yeah, Frank and Danita, the transplant and birth are part of an ongoing clinical trial at the Cleveland Clinic, a trial that could lead to giving women who want children more options. This bundle of joy yeah. just made history, and she doesn't even know it. Her mother was born without a uterus, but through an experimental surgery, this baby girl was born at the Cleveland Clinic last month. We are the first birth from a deceased donor in North America. This new video captures the birth of the baby. The long process to this moment started in late 2017 when a team of Cleveland Clinic doctors transplanted the uterus from a deceased donor. In 2018, the mother, who was in her mid-30s, became pregnant with the couple's embryo through in vitro fertilization. Dr. Tommaso Falcone was part of the team that harvested the uterus for transplant. Then... The next team uh, puts in the, uh, the uterus and uh, does the vessels. Once the transplant is done, we follow the woman to make sure there's no rejection, no infection, but, you know, rejection. And once we're satisfied with that, about six months, then we put in... Uh, an embryo. Roughly one in 5,000 women are born without a uterus, but one in 500 have non-functioning uteruses. For those women, there are currently only two options. Adopt uh, or a surrogate. Now they use another one. Now surrogacy in many places in the world is uh, illegal. Falcone has been in the baby business for nearly 30 years and he is marveled by this medical advancement. You know, when I started, we were doing, we were doing IVF and I said, okay, that's going to expand. But you just transplants, honestly, even 10 years ago, I didn't think this was going to happen. The hope is this experimental procedure will soon be able to help other women who want to carry their own child. Tonight, because of privacy, we don't know much about the mother. But we do know both mom and baby are healthy and doing well. And again, this is a clinical trial right now. Two women are currently waiting for embryos to be transferred. The clinic is looking to enroll 10 women between the ages of 21 and 39 years old. In the newsroom, Tracy Carlos, News 5.